Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? It's Dial Gray. I'm back again with another video. As I promised that I would be dropping a video every week. So I'm back again with another video. Since the last time I dropped a video a week ago, I've gained like seven subscribers. So I want to thank everybody who subscribed. And I want to thank everybody who's been supporting. I want to thank everybody who's been liking and commenting. So thank you so much for the support. The last video that I dropped did quite well. You know better than i expected so thanks to everybody that went to check out the video this is the second video in my free plugin series and in this video i'm going to show you a very interesting plugin that you can use for your vocals and for your instruments but i haven't really used it for anything else other than my vocals and my bass i've been using it for my bass i dropped a video like a month ago showing you how to make your log drum hit stronger using this plugin so you can go check out that video i'll leave the link in the description also so let's get in this plugin and see how it's going to change our sound let's test it out and okay so yeah so this is the project that i have i'll be using the same project that i used the last time you know so because i haven't had time to like create a new project i'll be using the same project and i'll be giving you you know good results also i still have vocals i have like a little bit of drums it's like deep house type of thing so let's get it and um i will kind of like do a bass and show you how it can also affect your bass but now let's start with the vocals and show you how it's going to affect your vocals so the plugin that i have is called back of dog 2 from boz digital labs and this plugin is kind of like it's a it's a filter it's a filter that you can use to boost certain frequencies so this 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 plugin works like you you choose like those frequencies that you want to boost and then it's going to ignore like all the other frequencies and it's going to boost only the frequencies that you choose and yeah i've been using it for my vocals as i said and for my bass so let me show you how you know i use it for my vocals Let, let's set it on default uh where is default where is default here is default okay i'm gonna put everything on default so when you open it the boost will be on 0 db the output will be on 0 db and this one will be on 80 hertz and yeah don't worry about that so let me show you uh okay let's listen to the vocal how it sounds Better days, I pray for better days. 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 So that's the vocal that we have. And in this vocal, we've got an EQ, just basic EQ. We've got a reverb, we've got a saturation knob, as I showed the last time, and we've got a vocal doubler. So now we're gonna add on this and add back of dog too. And then this back of dog, as I said, is a filter, and it's gonna add like some kind of texture in our vocals. So now let's try it out and hear how it's going to sound. So now with the plugin, uh, let's do this. Um, so this is with the plugin. Okay, now let, let's switch it on. And um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the frequency knob and I'm going to boost it up to around like 260 hertz, 260 hertz. And then I'm going to play it. Better days, I pray for better days. Better days, I pray for better days. I don't know if you could tell the difference but then if you listen with headphones you will tell the difference okay let's let, let me do this so that we you know we don't always struggle like to so um this is what i have i've got it on like 260 hertz and let's boost those frequencies by 1 db and then we can this is the output if for example you are losing a little bit of volume you are losing some frequencies you can always come to the output and like just boost it a little bit but let's leave it on zero now we're gonna leave it on zero and we're gonna play it with that with and without the plugin this is where you can switch it on and off so now it's on better days i pray for better days Better days, I pray for better days. Off. Better 
days, I pray for better days. Better days, I pray for better days. Better days, I pray for better days. Do, do you hear how it's adding some kind of warmth in the vocal? It's adding a, like a very beautiful texture and it's making a vocal to pop more. You know, so it's it's really doing a good job. So the second thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to boost the frequency again and put it around maybe 350. Ah, uh, okay, now let's just put it on 400. You're gonna hear the difference. So this is without the plugin. Better days, I pray for better days. Better days, I pray for better days. With the plugin on like 400 hertz, around 400 hertz. Better days, I pray for better days. 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 Oh, it's, 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 it's doing a very good job. It's doing a very good job, better than I expected. And now let's go again and boost it a little bit again. Maybe boost it and put it on 520, 515 uh, hertz and then try it out. You're going to tell the difference now. Better days, I pray for better days. Better days, I pray for better days. You hear that? Now it's around 700 hertz. The frequency is around 700 hertz. And that frequency, you can use it for your baking vocals. You can use it for your ad libs also when you're mixing rap. You can use it for, um, you know, for background vocals also like on R&B and on like hip hop chorus and on, you know, Deep House. Let's listen to that with and without the plugin. Better days, I pray for better days. Better days, I pray for better days. You see, so what, what is the vocal, the, the plugin, what is it doing? It's kind of like clearing those bad the, the, the bad frequencies that you don't want those frequencies that makes your vocal muddy it makes it very very clean with this and i've used it on most of my vocals better days i pray for better days better days i pray for better days Be so as you can see we've got classic we've got passive and we've got combo so let's try these three different things the classic passive and combo and see like how how different is it going to be so i'm just going to drop the frequency back to like 400 and i'm going to 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 try it on passive better days i pray for better days better days i pray for better days let's switch it back to classic and you will tell the difference better days see? i pray for better days Better days, I pray for better days. Better days, I pray for better days. Could you tell the difference, like when I'm switching it from classic to passive with the same frequency spectrum, with the same 400 hertz frequency, and I'm switching it between classic and passive, but there is a difference between those two. And then you get combo also. Combo is kind of like um, it's combining the classic and the passive. So you'll tell the difference. I'll, I'll switch from classic to combo. So let's start with classic. Better days, I pray for better days. And then combo. Better days, I pray for better days. So what this basically means is that the classic, you can use, you can use the classic like if you want to clear frequencies, if you want to maybe um mix uh, background vocals you want to mix ad libs maybe you can use the classic because what the classic is simply doing it's cutting the frequencies and it's boosting those frequencies the only frequencies that you want so that one is good for vocals and then when you go to combo combo you can use it for like chorus vocals because it's it's okay mate let's let's start with passive so passive passive is adding low frequencies so passive is focusing more on low frequencies. So this means that you can use passive for bass. It's working very well for bass. And then when you go to combo, it's it's combining classic and passive, meaning that it's going to focus more on like mid-range frequencies. It's not going to do a, a high cut or a low pass filter. It's going to focus more on like mid-range frequencies. And we've got stereo, but I normally don't do this. Stereo, mid and side. I just like leave it on stereo all the time and 
this one is when you want to to boost your vocal if if maybe your vocal is too low you can boost it with that better days i pray for better days better days i pray for better days better days i pray for better days so what the output is doing is kind of like it's like boosting the vocal that's what is it doing it's just boosting the vocals and making it louder so yeah this is bug of dog from boz digital labs and thank you for watching i'm going to do part two let's watch part two in part two i'm going to show you how you can boost your bass and how you can kind of like make your your bass hit stronger and how you can you know um yeah thank you so much for watching thank you so much if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe let's do part two right now and just add a little bit of bass and see how it's going to sound thank you for watching